Alrighty guys, we are back for more dog tales. No, I'm just kidding. Fierce Tales the Dog's Heart. More dog game. Oh something I was trying to say. Alright, let's start from left. What is this? So we are in the town. We made our way up to town. I think it's called Hunt Hunt or something. Okay, this water is pretty loud. There's hot water flowing from this tap. It could be useful. But I only have matches, torch, and hat, so I don't think it's gonna be useful at the moment. <laughs> hawk eyes. <laughs> hawk eyes. It it says right? Hawkeye. Okay. That reminds me of what's that series called? There's a character called Hawkeye in MASH. Right? Yeah, MASH, I think it's called. Ugh, city halls make me makes me think of nothing but paperwork. I think I'll avoid it for right now. <laughs> it's a snowdrift. I think there's something in there. I should find a way to melt the snow. I okay, I'll fill the hat with water. <laughs> okay. Uh I can't get past this giant patch of ice. It's too slippery. What can I use to make it easier to walk on? Oh wait, can I put my torch here? Matches? No? Okay. Um, okay, so we when we got into town, there was a woman running from some dogs, and there was a gunshot, and there was this guy up here. Oh, I just realized there's dogs on the okay, on the houses. Okay, so what happened to the woman? There she is. Oh, it's a hunter. Oh, he shot one of the dogs. <gasps> oh, here are the statues. Um. Okay, let's talk to these people first. The animals have gone crazy. They're all wearing these strange collars. I've never seen such behavior in all my 20 years of service. Dogs attacking people right in the town square. I had to shoot at them. Yes, you did. Officer Tom. Officer Tom told me that the dogs were all wearing some kind of strange collar. He had never seen anything like it. I'm beginning to wonder if these dogs are being controlled by someone else. Hmm. Could it be? Oh, here's the veterinarian clinic. I've never seen such Okay, 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 okay. I wish, uh, um, okay. Bloody tracks leading to the kennels. That's not a good sign. Here's some information about the statue. In gratitude for the development of our city, composer John Robinson, Mayor Mark Carter, Gardener Jeremy Walker from Town Residence. Hey, I found a shell. I think you would like a hat. I think you would like a pipe, actually. I think you would like a hat. Whoa, you just... <laughs> his arm and his... Opened his chest. Okay, thank you. I got a dog's head. Kind of weird. I can see the winter gardens in the distance. Winter gardens. I can see a dome in the distance. It most likely belongs to the winter gardens. I've actually never visited those gardens. No, but I mean, you live like way apart from the city. The door's locked. I need a special key. Okay, here are the kennels. City kennel. I need a tool to remove the wire. Ah, uh, torch. No. Uh, this is one of the kennels. It's missing a part. I was afraid I would forget the code, so I decided to write it down. So I will, you know, borrow your code. Strange symbols. Okay. Uh, I can't reach the lock. I have to get rid of the whole chain instead. Or, you know, crawl under here. <laughs> right? Maybe? There's a drill bit stuck in that beam. One. Uh, <laughs> it's like a lot of them. Okay. Wait, was there? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm missing a dog's head. There we go. Is it a puzzle? Okay, the dog looks a little creepy. Wait, what am I doing? Oh. Okay. Oh, okay, so it's just brute force? 
Aha. Uh -huh. No. Okay. Holy bird forcing that one into the city kennel. Aw. Oh my god, he was shot? <gasps> the color's off. Bloody prince. You found something strange color. I found part of one of those strange colors Officer Tom was talking about. It is definitely something I've never seen. Why are all those dogs wearing these collars? What do they do? We need a special key to open for Jesse, and we have Sydney, Owen, and King. Here's a book Hounding Dogs. Ooh, okay, Deer Hound. The Deer Hound is the living embodiment of beauty and grace. It is often mentioned in the works of Sir Walter Scott. Deer hounds are full of vigor, love, and loyalty. A deer hound only desires one thing, to be a faithful and devoted companion to its owner. Pont... I don't know what, how, how, what language is supposed to be? Pont Audemer Spaniel? The appearance and working qualities of the Pont Audemer Spaniel suggest that the Old English and Irish Water Spaniels had a great influence on this French breed. Okay, it is French. Pont Audemer? I don't know. Its ancestry can also perhaps be traced back to the Poodle and Barbet. Or, or Barbet, I don't know. Galgo! The Spanish Galgo or Spanish Greyhound is a member of the Sighthound family. Though they are both called Greyhounds, the Spanish Greyhound is not closely related to the English Greyhound. Herding Dog Herding dogs, or working dogs, are known for their ability to be easily trained, usually following either word or whistle commands. Their innate predatory behavior was modified through breeding into superior herding skills. Yes, I'm going to read all the dogs. Neapolitan Mastiff The Neapolitan Mastiff is a serious, powerful dog. The body of this massive, rather rectangular looking dog has abundant hanging wrinkles and folds on the head and a very large dewlap. The wide, flat head is large in comparison to the rest of the body. Can we have something about training gunshot wounds? No, I was reading that! Okay, English Setter. The English Setter is a direct descendant of European bird dogs used in the Middle Ages. With the proliferation of hunting firearms in the 17th and 18th centuries, the English setter was bred to be more easily seen in the field. It was indeed. I don't know. I I don't know if I have any like favorite dog breeds. I don't really. I've never had dog, but I kind of like Leonbergers or whatever they're called. Though, because they're like they look big and cuddly and they're good with children apparently, but they are prone to cancer, so they usually don't live that long. I can put the bullet parts here. Okay, I have a shell. Oh, come on. I have a shell. Oh, okay. Meh. My fault. But my boyfriend wants us to have a dog in the future, so we're gonna have both dog and cat. And he will have to help me take care of the animals. Here's a lot of information about dogs in our city. I'm going to read everything. I developed a new breed of sporting dog. Their strength and power are ideal. Oh, Ashton Dean was a talented dog trainer. It's really too bad he died. Uh, these dogs have extremely well-developed senses of smell and hearing. They can feel ground vibrations from up to a mile away. Oh my goodness. The nature of these animals is very peaceable. Training and controlling them requires very little effort. They possess a perfect combination of strength, loyalty, and kindness. I think these dogs will be a real gift to our city. Or to someone who is not that nice. Bottle. Okay. Oh, poor guy. He's wounded. And uh, there's some kerosene here. I need to gather all the necessary supplies to treat his wound. I'm sorry. <gasps> Look, he has like, what is this? It's like eye flashes or something. What is that? Aww. Poor thing. He's a wounded- oh wait, special breed, piece of puzzle. Okay, piece of puzzle. I found a piece of paper. I think it pertains to some breed-specific instructions for the treatment of gunshot wounds. I still need to find the rest of the instructions. Ashton Dean developed a special breed of dog. They are very hardy, docile, and loyal. Perfect for families and sporting. 
So why did these docile dogs suddenly become so aggressive? Wait, how do you know that... Okay, I, I, I guess it's fairly obvious that those dogs are the special breed, but like, how do you know? The bulldog doesn't seem aggressive like the animals that were running through the square. In addition, the poor thing has been wounded. I need to help him, but I'm not a veterinarian, so I'm not sure what I should do. I, I have to do some research. Empty cup and bottle and kerosene, so what are we doing? The map doesn't really help us with where we have to go. So, hit me. Oh, you had a key. The key dropped to the ground. No, oh my god. I was just gonna say, please don't fall down. <sighs> but it did. I don't know, kerosene? No. Okay, um, let's try. I don't know. <gasps> oh, I know. Wait, water. Empty cup. Cup of warm water. Here we go. Ha 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 ha. Ooh, what is this? It's a drill. Kerosene? Bottle? Torch? Nope. Okay, we have a drill, so we're gonna go get ourselves a drill bit, and then I have no idea what we're gonna do. Okay, we have a drill with bit. Why do we have a drill with bit? Um, hit me. Am I gonna drill it? Oh. What? How does this even work? Alright. Oh my god, we're- okay. Hey, we're going down to the sewers. I got a torch. I'm guessing you need some kerosene on that. And matches. Alright. Light it up. Oh my god, okay. Woohoo! Whoa, snakes! I was not expecting to see those down here. Super flame. That's pretty cool, a little animation there. I'll take these nippers. I figure the snake is full of poison. Ow! Clear the snake does not appreciate my gracious company. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know. I shouldn't be clicking this. It was kind of fun. I was a little jump scare there. <laughs> I see a key, but there are a few snake-shaped obstacles. I need to reach it somehow. There's a door at the end of the corridor, but snakes are blocking my way. Okay, so this is a this is a different and kind of neat way of doing the journal. Like you have to actually click points of interest, which is both good and bad. I think it's kind of cool, but it also means that you might miss something. But on the other hand, you never get any spoilers. A visit to the sewers. There's a door at the end of the corridor, but snakes are blocking my way. Snakes don't scare me. Snake venom, on the other hand. It's just not worth the risk. I need to find a way to remove them. Yeah. Okay, so nippers, I know where they, they go. They go here. Pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Aha, hidden object scene. Alright. It's half a dog. Or part of a dog. Where's the head? There we go. It's a postcard. Uh, ooh, look at that. It's a crowbar, and I get to take it, and it's like rusty and stuff. <laughs> I can use something here, okay. Oh, hello. I got a raccoon. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So... I'm starting out with just clicking everything. Not working very well. Not working out for me, okay. I need a net. Maybe that's what I'm getting. Pine cone. Duck. I saw a duck. I promise I saw the duck. There it is. Glasses and claw. Okay, so where's this claw that I need? There it is. Alright. Cool. Yeah, we got the net. The net goes here. Are you gonna open your chest too? No, you're actually just giving me the net. That's pretty cool. 
Okay, Nat, go. Veterinarian's key. Woohoo! Okay, let's get that dog treated. Poor little bulldog. Veterinarian. Hello, nobody's home. Okay, I'll just take the needle syringe lying around. I'm sure it's sterilized and everything. It's all good. I need some kind of key or a medallion. Okay, that was that. Oh, a Dalmatian. Uh, from what I've heard, Dalmatians are not very good with kids, actually. But, of course, it depends on, you know, individual dog. But as a breed, from what I understand. Uh, but I might be wrong. Um, put all the bottles in their correct places, from lightest to heaviest. Click and drag a bottle to move it. Use the scale to compare weights. Alright. So that one is a bit heavier. Wait, is it heavier to... Okay, so I'm gonna put them like this for now. No, you know what we'll do? We'll do like this. Okay, that one is heavier. Clearly heavier. Clearly heavier. Heavier. Okay, so that one is the heaviest. Heavier. 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 Okay, next heaviest. Heavier. 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 Heavier? Okay, I think this one's a little heavier. That one's heavier. And that one's heavier. <laughs> that one's heavier, and I guess these are water then. I'm presuming this means that I'm wrong? <laughs> Okay, I, I mean, this one is obviously a bit heavier, but... Um... Oh, from lightest to heaviest. Oops. Okay, I've done it the wrong way around. Ha <laughs> ha. From lightest to heaviest. Okay. I'm totally confused. <laughs> Wait, what? What? No. Okay, that one's heavier. the bottles in the correct places from lightest to heaviest. Click and drag a ball to move it. Use the scales to compare weights. Haven't I done this? Hello? Do I have to skip this puzzle? Like, what? Oh my god. Okay, they're, they're still there. Okay. I guess I'll have to skip the puzzle. I, I have no idea. Lightest to heaviest. Haven't I done that? Oh, 
light is the heaviest those, and those two were water. Okay, those two were okay. Darn it! I was, I was, I was thinking that I should maybe do that. Okay. <sighs> Crud! I should have done it. I thought, hey, maybe. Of course, because those two were basically the same weight, and the rest would. Oh. <laughs> I have no idea what to do with any of this, okay. Darn it. In mammals, the canine teeth, also called dog teeth, are relatively long, pointed teeth. Often the largest teeth in the mouth, they were evolved primarily for pulling food apart, and occasionally for use as weapons. In most species, four canine teeth are developed, two in each, the upper and lower jaw. Humans or dogs are examples of mammals with canine teeth. Physical characteristics of the bulldog need a wait. Bulldog breed include wide shoulders, a pronounced man mandible, a thick skin folds on the a thick skin folds on the brow brow. I guess they generally have wide set eyes, a s short muzzle with a characteristic rope about the nose, dropping lips, and pointed teeth. Bulldogs have a short coat, mostly common in the colors of red, fawn, white, brindle, and whatever. Treating a gunshot wound. Gunshot wounds in bulldogs are easy to care for when treated quickly. The bullet must be removed immediately. If it is just a flesh wound, it is sufficient to treat pain with an injection of morphine into the wound and then wrap the wound in a clean bandage. Alright, you saw there's a heart here. Uh, it's the apothecary shelf. I ha we have the code for that, but uh, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna get in there now. Actually, okay. After reading up on the subject, I know how to treat the wounded bulldog. I just need to inject a bit of morphine and wrap the wounded area with a bandage. Now I should be able to help that poor guy in the cows. Oh, here it is. Okay, blue, orange, green, black, whatever it is. Blue. Wait, there's too many colors. Blue, yellow, green. Blue, orange. That's why I said I said orange. There we go. Bandage. And symbol. And it's an advertisement for some kind of numerical liquid. Introducing an amazing breakthrough, snake poison and purple solution. I like how purple solution is like super, like could be anything that's purple, like what? Our scientists have discovered a revolutionary new liquid. It can be applied anywhere and everywhere. Have you lost or broken a key? This liquid will open any lock. Wow! Liquid is extremely toxic. Keep away from children and pets. Try it today. Okay. If I make this crazy liquid, I can open any lock, even if the key is lost or broken. That sounds useful. If you believe advertising, of course. I wonder how I can make some. Maybe the medical device in the veterinary veterinary clinic is a ticket. Alright. So, I'm sorry I failed so lousily at that puzzle. Um, uh, I, sh I should have understood that. <laughs> Darn it! Okay. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.